Yeah, most of the boys have pulled up pretty well. Obviously, Jimmy Barty um, at his hand. Um, but apart from everything else, there's a couple of sore bodies from the weekend. Um, but everyone's, everyone's in good spirits and um, been partaking in training today. How exciting is this? And how, how relieved is it as well that you do have the majority of your squad coming through unscathed? Oh, that's great. Yeah, we had a few boys in uh, training over the weekend and then watching the games the weekend, you just... Like you, you, if anyone goes down, you win a little bit. But no, it's, it's exciting to get everyone back in, uh, getting everyone together again, and 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 building for, for for a big couple of weeks. How big is this this opening game, and how exciting is it going into this game of how well the boys are doing? Oh, look, I think it, it's always exciting. Six Nations, I think it's I'd say the World Cup, probably the biggest tournament in the world. So ever, everyone's. Like, can't wait to get it started and, and obviously we've enjoyed some really positive performances over the past couple of seasons and, and, and we, we're keen to build on that. I think it's fair to say Scotland um been tipped by a few to, to, to do well this time round. I don't want to curse anyone by saying anything. Of one, speaking of winning it or not, what, what's your thoughts on it? How, how good is this Scotland squad at the moment and, and is winning it you know that, that ultimate dream and, and target? Oh, look, I think that there's belief within, within the team, but ultimately, I don't think you can be thinking about winning the tournament. You've got a massive challenge in, in England at the weekend. I think we're all excited and focusing on our performance. Obviously, there's been sort of new coaches in England and, and they, they're building something as well. They had a really good autumn, beating Australia, South Africa and Tonga. Some massive performances. We, we know we, we, we are not focusing on anything beyond, beyond England. Um, I think we're... We're enjoying what we're doing, enjoying the way we're playing the game. And, and come Saturday, we, we really want to sort of just put our own performance together. Just finally for me, what do you guys need to do then to, to hopefully have another memorable day come Saturday? Well, look, I think we've got to concentrate on ourselves. We've got, like, we know how, how strong England are um, right across the board. They've got a good balance, their team, outstanding individuals. But I think a lot of it is we've got to focus on ourselves and, and how we play the game and, and concentrate on ourselves. We're at home. It's going to be an unbelievable crowd there. So that's exciting for the boys. And I think it's just not getting distracted. It's just putting our own performance. Uh, Steve, um, how much can memories of Twickenham last year help the team in the lead up to this game? I think I think it adds belief and and confidence in in being able to produce those performances um, away from home, which was huge. Obviously, there's no crowd there, but still winning Twickenham against an outstanding England team was huge. Trust, and then you start build more belief in your own performances and, and how in in your own game as well. So, look, it, it was it was an unbelievable day, uh, but but that's just the memory now and we need to create more and we need to put another huge performance in come Saturday. And Alan Dell added to the squad, just a word about him, what will he bring to the squad? Oh look Dell, he loves, he loves playing for Scotland, loves being part of it, it was great to see him again and obviously he's been playing, coming off the bench a lot for London Irish and, and making an impact which is great and you can see how desperate he is to be part of the squad and I think that's something really positive within the group at the minute, the, the connection between, between the players and the excitement of coming into camp. So, yeah, look, look, Daddy's Daddy's done well, and it's exciting to have him back. Unfortunately for Jamie, I thought he was playing really well and hurt his hand, but someone sort of misfortune could give someone else an opportunity. Cheers.